Every year, thousands of tourists and locals escape to the island of Mo'orea in French Polynesia. Situated less than 30 kilometres from Papiete, this island paradise is accessible by ferry or a short scenic flight on Air Tahiti. Whether you prefer to explore Mo'orea's 134 square kilometres of lush scenery by ATV or by taking a leisurely tour of the island by catamaran, there is no question that Mo'orea is one of the most beautiful places on earth and it is easy to see why so many people return to the island time and time again. The friendly locals always have a ukulele at hand and are happy to entertain you on a day trip out on the picturesque lagoon. It is, however, the other friendly locals who provide so much entertainment and joy for those who are brave enough to enter their world. Most people forget the fear they have developed about sharks and rays in other parts of the world and simply enjoy the experience. Education is vitally important to ensure the safety and conservation of French Polynesia's marine life. And what better way to encourage conservation than to get up close and personal with a black tip reef shark or a friendly ray. Many of the encounters are in shallow water, so people of all ages can enjoy these interactions with just a pair of reef shoes and a snorkel. The stingrays feel safe in their lagoon environment and are so used to people that they come by simply for attention, like a dog or a cat might do. They don't just request your participation, they demand it but you are handsomely rewarded by the rays as their soft, silky and graceful bodies touch you as they pass by. I have yet to see anyone resist their gentle appeal and not feel moved by this special interaction. The rays and sharks are here all year long, but come May, a different visitor graces Mo'orea's waters. There is nothing more spectacular than a humpback whale making its presence known. Michael Poole, a highly experienced and passionate marine biologist, takes tourists out on whale watching expeditions on his purpose-built boat several times a week during the humpback whale season. The rest of the year, Dr. Poole takes tourists out to see spinner and rough-toothed dolphins and occasionally pilot whales. As a tour guide, Dr. Poole is a natural. However, there is far more important work being undertaken while the tourists are enjoying the sights. We're going to go get skin out of the water. Why? Because we're scientists. We do research. What can we get out of the skin? DNA. Now sit down left side. Stand up right side. We can extract the DNA. We can look at the sex of the individual, male or female. Look at the mother's line of inheritance, the father's line of inheritance. Both the wildlife and the weather can be unpredictable in French Polynesia and the wait can be long. No two days are alike, but for a lucky few, the conditions are just right to allow them to swim with these gentle giants of the sea. Safety is paramount, both for the whales and the people in the water with them. They are incredibly large animals and Dr. Paul is very careful to ensure the safety of everyone during any interactions. Dr. Poole wrote the legislation 
which led to the creation of the Marine Mammals Sanctuary of French Polynesia in 2002. The sanctuary covers an area half the size of the USA, an extraordinary 4.8 million square kilometres. The gods are smiling on Dr. Poole and his guests today as we get not one, but two chances to experience these enormous animals in their own environment. The first is a large male who sits just on the surface, resting. Dr. Poole gathers the swimmers and provides a briefing to ensure their safety in the water. The swimmers are all required to hold onto a life ring as they swim towards the resting whale. This is the deep blue, and it is not just whales that inhabit these waters. I feel envious of group one as they move towards the resting male while I film it from the boat, but my patience is about to be rewarded. Less than an hour later, I find myself in the water swimming with a playful baby humpback as its mother rests nearby. Six metres in length, this baby humpback is remarkably agile and very aware of its surroundings as it moves amongst the swimmers. It's playful and sings with joy as it interacts with its human visitors. You might expect an excitable baby to be somewhat clumsy, but this young whale surfaces for air regularly during our swim and navigates a path without ever bumping into anyone. The baby doesn't seem at all bothered by our presence, although not everyone observes the no splashing rules. I suddenly hear a noise off to my right. Mum is ready to resume her travels and is calling her baby back to her side, ending one of the most incredible experiences of my life. <laughs> 